Welcome to What's Jira? In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to Jira. You'll get to know the different Jira products and you'll meet some typical Jira users and find out how they use it. You'll also get to know what determines what you can do in Jira. Finally, we'll show you how to get around in Jira. Jira is built for teams to manage their projects and track their work. It's offered in three different products, Jira Software, Jira Service Desk, and Jira Core. You may have two of these products at your site, just one, or all of them, depending on the type of teams you have and what you're looking to accomplish. Jira Software is used by software development teams to plan, track, and release software. Jira Service Desk is used by IT and customer service teams to create and run their service desks. Jira Core is used by business teams such as finance, marketing and HR to manage projects and keep their teams organized. These are the typical use cases for the three Jira products, but only your imagination is the limit. Here are some typical users for each Jira product. Hi, my name's Kevin. I'm a developer, and my team's creating a new mobile app for locating planets. We use Scrum for our software development, and we manage all of our work on a board. This contains everything we've committed to finishing within this sprint. I've already fixed one bug, and now I'm working on another one. I also have a story that I've implemented that's in code review. And now I'm ready to write the test script, so I'll grab this task and move it to in progress. One of the best things about Jira software for developers like me is that I can create branches and monitor pull requests and build statuses right from the Jira ticket. Hi, I'm Caroline. I'm a support engineer on our internal IT service desk. I resolve problems and service requests from other employees throughout our company. They create tickets on our customer portal, which immediately show up in our service desk queues. I monitor these queues and grab the most urgent ones to work on. Sometimes I can resolve a problem immediately from the knowledge base suggestions that automatically appear in the service desk ticket. And I can communicate with my customers and stakeholders, and they can communicate with me by adding comments to the request. So we can see the entire history of all these interactions in one place. Hi, my name is Lewis and I'm a marketing manager. Our team creates tasks and manages them in our project. Here I can see everything my team is working on. Also, I can get a quick look at the overall statistics to ensure the tasks aren't getting bottlenecked. And that's important to me as a manager. It helps me keep my project on track. What you can do in JIRA depends on what role you have in your organization. For example, the whole software development team has access to JIRA software to manage their software projects, but only Scrum Masters can create and manage sprints. And support teams have access to JIRA Service Desk to run their help desks but only IT managers can create service level agreements and request types. And business teams use Jira Core to manage their tasks, but only managers can create reports. Your Jira administrators set up your access and permissions based on your job role. They control what Jira applications you have access to and what you can do in Jira. You may have access to multiple JIRA products, or only one. And you may be able to perform different tasks than others in your team. Now let's take a look at how you navigate using the header in JIRA. Your JIRA may look a little different from this, depending on what you have access to, what permissions you have, and how JIRA is set up at your site. But the basics of navigation are the same. When you first log in, you may see the system dashboard. This is a page your JIRA administrator set up containing useful information for JIRA users at your site. At the top, you see the header 
where you can use these menus to navigate to different parts of Jira that you have access to. Dashboards, Projects, Issues, and Boards. We'll go into each of these in later tutorials. You can also create new issues, search for issues, give feedback on JIRA, find help if you need it, this list of keyboard shortcuts is worth a visit, access JIRA administration if you're an administrator, and edit your profile. This is where you can change your photo or avatar. Let's take a few moments to review what we have learned. In this tutorial, you were introduced to the three JIRA products. JIRA software is used to plan, track and release software. JIRA Service Desk is used to create IT and customer service help desks to manage and resolve problems and service requests. JIRA Core is used to manage tasks and business projects. What you can see and do in JIRA depends on how your JIRA administrator has set you up based on your job role. Finally, you navigate in JIRA from the header. Take some time to apply what you've learned in your own JIRA. Open your instance of JIRA and explore the header to view online help and check out the keyboard shortcuts which can save you a lot of time. Also, take a look at your profile and add your photo or an avatar if you haven't done so. This will appear next to your tasks and comments in JIRA. Check out Atlassian University for more great JIRA tutorials.